we're going to be exploring various supermarkets on the stunning French Riviera. Special fresh items in here, I mean lobster tail, you don't see that everywhere. Absolutely gorgeous patisserie, boulangerie section. The best, let me tell you, you can't come to France and not get this butter. Brian's in the wine cave, the special wine cave. Eight euros for a box of Yorkshire tea. Look at that little cutesy in the supermarket car park. Fresh produce, a little bit higher price. Heinz beans, rich in tomato sauce. It's $1.95, $7.20 for a box of pure rubbish. Is it actually possible to eat well on a budget here? This might look familiar to some, really well priced and it's the proper Italian 24 month aged Parmigiano. Welcome to my channel, I'm Fern, proud mum of two and wife to husband Ryan. We took a huge risk leaving our hometown in the north of England to the stunning French Riviera. It has been one crazy journey with some super challenging times, but the highs definitely make it all worthwhile and we've discovered parts of ourselves we never knew existed. Subscribe and join me for a peek into my daily life living on the French Riviera. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's episode, we're gonna be exploring various supermarkets on the stunning French Riviera. Now the big question, is it actually possible to eat well on a budget here? It's the home to the super rich. We're gonna find out, we're gonna be comparing different prices on basic items and have a look at different qualities of each supermarket. Before we get into it, just a quick glance at my stats. Only roughly half of you that watch the videos have actually clicked subscribe to the channel. Now it's completely free and it massively helps the channel grow, which means I can keep creating content for you. So I would love for you to click that subscribe button and help me out on this occasion. Let's talk about the first way of shopping. Now I feel like this is what everyone imagines if they're moving to France and that's shopping fresh all the time, going to your farmer's markets. It's a beautiful way of living, a gorgeous lifestyle, but it's not really sustainable full time as a working busy family. So I'm gonna be showing you around the supermarkets. First stop, is Carrefour in Antibes. Now this is the biggest Carrefour on the French Riviera. It's absolutely huge. There's so much to offer. When we first moved here, we used to come here just for the fun of it because I loved looking at everything, all the French items. There's nothing you can't really get from here. So it's the big beast, which we're starting off with, and I'm gonna give you a tour. So in here, you've not just got your huge food shopping. You've got little shops as well. You've got clothing shops, shoe shops, beauty shops. It's like a huge mall in here. You buy one of these cakes, it's called the Galette, and it has like a little figurine in there. I feel like this wouldn't actually pass health and safety in the UK, but it's a thing. We've actually got one at home, so we'll do that later. But you cut a slice and the winner who gets the figurine, where's the crown? As you can see, they literally do everything here. Homeware items, gadgets, the lot. But today, we're only interested in food. So we're gonna go straight to the food aisles. Follow me. You have got an absolutely gorgeous patisserie, boulangerie section. It's got the best, the best cakes. Oh gosh, it gets me every time. Gets me every single time. I mean, just look at the eclairs. What on earth are they? So here, what are these? I've never seen them. Yeah, fig. Yeah, it I says fig. They look gorgeous. I mean, what we're talking for two special cakes. Four euros fifteen for those two there. Same here. So nice fancy cakes, special offer, 285. Nice little treat. Box of little treats there, 950. 
there was a time we'd have eaten all this. Oh my gosh, yeah. When we first moved here, we just used to try everything. It's a little bit more normal living now, I'd say. 10 euros for a beautiful strawberry cream tart. They are delicious. I actually prefer that one. No, that one for me. Yeah. It's got like custard. Oh, and these look absolutely divine. You've got something a little bit more special here. Great for occasion cakes because they've always got them in stock. 20 50 for something like this. 26 50 for the next size. They've got an absolutely incredible fruit and veg section. They've got cheese. Oh my gosh, have they got cheese. Meat. They've got a huge variety here, that's for sure. You'll definitely get what you're looking for. We've actually been told off a little bit for <laughs> filming. So it's made this one a little bit tricky, but I'm gonna try and show you and give you an insight anyway. Uh, we're gonna get some kefir. And some milk. Kefir is 169. What's milk costing here now, to be honest? I think milk is pretty much the same price at most supermarkets. I'm gonna get a standard milk. We usually get the red one though. Yeah, Let's get one. bio. A red bio milk is $1.99. Like I said, you can always get what you're looking for and more in here. We're gonna get some proper butter made from raw milk. Now I know this because it says Grand Cru on there. So that's going straight in my basket. Should we get a demi salt as well? Uh, if we're doing salted hun, we're going for the full on sol de mer, the best stuff, the best, let me tell you, you can't come to France and not get this butter. Guys, you have got a huge sushi and fish section in here, it's unreal, look. Incredible, you want fresh, you got fresh. Oh my gosh, look at this. Foie gras, $24.99 for foie gras. Wow, there's lots of foie gras. I'm guessing that's because we've just had Christmas and there's lots left over. You've got a big, heavy pack of chicken here. Now there is 2.173 kg there for 17 euros. Quail's eggs. So you've got four chicken breasts in there for $9.90. How many kilograms? One kilo. Yeah, one kg. A whole chicken. Good quality chicken. Almost 11 euro. I always think it's best to get good quality meat. It's worth paying that little bit extra. Here's another good one. And it's just under 12 euros. Cheaper quality chicken there for five euros. A little bit smaller in size. This looks to me like thick cut bacon. Now you do struggle to get actual bacon in France. It's really difficult. Um, they don't really do it. The closest you can get is like the thick cut stuff. So here we go. 9.25 we're talking for a packet of good quality beef mints. What is that chicken? chicken? Oh, this is a good quality Post chicken. chicken. Yes. That's what it means. Post chicken. That is a good quality chicken. So what we're we talking for that? 1780. But that's grass fed. Oh, is it grass fed? Yeah. Oh nice, so you've got bio, grass fed, ribeye steak here, just under 10 euros. You do have your foreign food sections in here, you've got your Spanish section, British, American and Italian. So if there is something that you're craving and missing, they might just have it here. Ryan's in the wine cave, the special wine cave. 340 a bottle for what? What is it? A nice red? It's an old red, yeah. A vintage red, not an old red. <laughs> so you can literally get it all in this huge car for 
all different price range, different quality, different brands. They have self-checkouts and you can put it to English if you want to. We're out of car four. We had to be super sneaky in there because we did get a little telling off at first. We almost got told we couldn't film at all. And I tried to say like, you know, it's all good. It's all positive, don't worry. And she was like, okay, you try not to film the products, you know, so we did have to be a little bit sneaky. We was on watch, so we had to whiz round. I would have liked to have shown you so much in there. Um, but anyway, I'll show you the products that I picked up from Carrefour. Great if you're visiting the French Riviera, you want the shopping experience, you want to explore all the different products, know that you're going to get what you need. It's got a big variety of all different price points and there's a lot of people in there like getting a big shop, which is actually something I don't see as much of in France. Like in the UK, you go to your supermarket, you do your weekly shop. We pile the trolleys up. It's not so seen in France, I've noticed. I was quite shocked when I started going to the supermarkets and doing my usual shop when I moved here. I was getting a few strange looks and people would get annoyed if they're behind you in the queues. But yeah, here they seem to shop a little bit more frequently. Little and often seems to be the way. I mean that's a huge supermarket so they do fill the trolleys up in there to be honest but your smaller supermarkets they tend to get a small trolley full or a basket. Do you know what? We, we like kefir. We try and get like a little bit of something fermented in the diet most days and I picked up this kefir because I just thought the branding looked nice. It's different to the one that we usually get. And reading it, it's actually packed with sugar, that. So um, yeah, bit of a fail. We got your standard milk, but the bio option were quite butter connoisseurs, to be honest. And we saw these ones, which are both made from raw milk, whole raw milk. So we got a demi cell one there, which is a little bit salted. And then we got the original one. And then we got a favorite that everybody loves. Now, if you come to France and see this butter, you must get it and you must have it on fresh baguette, almost sliced as thick as the baguette. It's essential to do that. It's the French way and this is proper butter and it's got big grains of sea salt in there. It's delicious. And then we just picked up a packet of lamb mince. There we go. So just a few essentials, a few nice bits that we like. And that little loot there came to 21.14, 21 euros. Now the smaller car fours that are dotted around the Riviera, I tend to avoid. I don't really go in there much unless it's just for bits of essential items when I'm passing. Like I need to pick something up that I need on the way home or something because they remind me of co-ops in the UK. So you wouldn't really go to the co-op for a full big food shop. And that's how I feel about the smaller car fours on the Riviera. Exactly right. They're called Carrefour Market. Ah, okay. Yeah. Carrefour Markets. Carrefour but that's Market. not a Carrefour Market, obviously. It's Grand. Grand Carrefour. That's a, a supermarché. Supermarché. We've never been to an hypermarché, have we? It's hypermarché or hypermarché. I'm pretty sure they call it hyper because Ypres. they don't say the H. Ah, hypermarché. 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 Where to next? We're going to have to be very discreet because we don't want to get banned in every supermarket that we go to. This is positive. We're showing you the prices. We're showing you the different vibes in the different supermarkets. So please, let's pray they don't ban us from filming. Where to next? Grand Frey. Oh, okay. We're going to go Grand Frey. Okay, here, just for example, guys, we're just driving past a car for market which is a much smaller version and they remind me of co-ops in the uk i very very rarely get more than a few bits from there look at that little cutesy in the supermarket car park 
It's an old 500 with the trunk on the back. Here we are, about to enter Grand Prix. Now, I've not been for ages, years in fact. We used to come here quite a lot when we first moved to France because we was in an Airbnb, not too far away from here. And from what I remember, it's got some really nice, fresh produce. A little bit higher price, if I remember right. But we'll go and see if we think the same. I mean, this is bio. You've got two very small chicken fillets here for just under 10 euro. I mean, it weighs 0.2 kg. It's nothing, so pretty pricey, but it is bio. That's five times the price. Um, is that a chicken? Is that a chicken? It's a duck. Oh, I do like duck. I mean, a nice looking duck there is 22.86, just under 23 euros for that juicy duck. Something that I must say, if you are looking to shop super healthy on a budget, not everyone can do it, but we do it quite often, don't forget about your organs. <laughs> this is liver and it's two euros 89 and the nutrition in that wow don't ever forget about your organs something you do see a lot more of in the french supermarkets is all the different types of organs you can get your really special fresh items in here i mean lobster tail you don't see that everywhere what's the price of that then i mean this one's priced here at 14 euros As you can see, it's rather lovely in here. If I had to compare it to a UK supermarket, I think I would go for Waitrose. It's got very Waitrose vibes. You know that what you buy from here is gonna be quality. The cheese section, wow, it's probably my favorite part of this supermarket. It's ultra special. They've got a huge variety of all different types and luxury cheeses. It goes on and on and on. They also had my favorite. Oh, this is a nice one. I almost bought this. It was flour and honey goat's cheese, but I ended up getting this one in the end, which was, I think, garlic and onion. But they do have some other favorites of mine, which is the truffle cheese. Now, I'm not talking about this one. We did buy this one. I thought that was truffle at first, but it was black garlic running through there. Absolutely gorgeous. This looks lovely as well. And here's the truffle cheeses. Now, look at that. That is a thick truffle layer going through there. I think that was seven euros something. Oh, this is a huge beast of a piece of cheese. That was 68 euros for that chunk there. They even do fresh Italian pasta in here. They've got a huge selection of bio products as well. The milk, we did compare the milk prices and it was the same, it was $1.99 for milk. Now this is a special olive oil. I am into special olive oil, unfiltered. Only 500 ml though and it was 20 odd euros. They even did like flour garnishes and all your special little French items, love it. Oh guys, Grand Frey, gorgeous. I'd say like that's my favorite for going for the luxury special items it's got a huge choice of things that you don't see everywhere those little fancy french bits you know so we got a little loot in there it came to 35.20 we spent in grand Frey. we've just been picking up some special little items that we've been wanting along the way i had to pick up one of those little fancy cheeses the lovely little goat's cheese this one has got 
onion on there i think it's onion and garlic it'll be delightful just a little slice of that with some meat or something sprouts you know i know that these are super gut friendly like 250 a pack or something like that nice to put on salads and, and i got these ones as well the little sprouts a lovely piece of tuna wild caught and this was 765 but ultra fresh obviously we're just going to keep saying fresh we love the brebby yogurt the sheep's yogurt we have that at home and this one is a good one it had lower sugar than a couple of the other ones okay two packs of lardons i don't know if i mentioned that you can't really get bacon in france um but you know lardons taste similar so throwing them into meals is nice oh we got the cheese we got this one to try and this was 687 for this piece of cheese and it's got black garlic running through it and then ryan got something that is just munching on there what is that you wanted a little snack uh roast pork what is it? Roast pork. Roast pork, sir. Mm -hmm. You fancy a bit of roast pork, did you? Yeah, it's smoked and roast pork. Lovely. Very nice. Very nice. So it's that's actually the little delicious. Loop. Is it? And it was three euros. So. Oh, nice. So I think you've got a feel for Grand Frey. It's nice for those special luxury items, ultra fresh. If you want any bio products, Grand Frey is the one. It's a favourite. I'm not going to do full food shops there because our family's way too greedy for that. Got a bite of my pork. Go on then, I'll have a bite of your pork. You can have a tranche if you want. Oh, wow. That means a slice. Mmm. So long, eh? Avianto. Next. This might look familiar to some. We have got aldi now there's quite a few aldis dotted about on the riviera and i use aldi a lot for a bulk shop it's got all your essential items and you know what price you're going to pay it's same kind of price as the uk we find that when we go back to the uk we'll get a few bags of shopping from say aldi or lidl and it'll end up costing the same as what we pay on the riviera now it's not my favorite for like fresh fruit veg and meat but like I say, your big bulk essential shops, it's great for coming out with a trolley full and then nipping elsewhere for your other bits and pieces, which you quite like. Come, let's go. Okay. Galettes, they've got all the galettes out. Now, galettes, it's like a, um, like a pie slash cake. They've got frangipan in there. And what they do is they put a little figurine somewhere in the cake, it's hidden. So when you slice it, whoever gets the piece with the figurine in is the winner and wears a crown. They come with a crown. So like I said, it's not my favorite for fruit and veg. As you can see, there's not a lot of choice. It's quite picked over. Three avocados here, 2.79. We love our avos, don't we? One thing. I do love Aldi for is the packets of nuts. You get a lot more for your money, I think. So here we have got a packet of macadamias. We love macadamias and they are $2.79 a pack. We definitely need some of those as well. Get some of those in the basket. Now, when I come to the Aldi, I always look for the steaks. I can never find good steak in the Aldi. It all seems to be this, which is called faux fillet. I think that is actually a good uh, thing though. Do you? See, yeah. it always puts me off because it says faux. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, mm, I can't see it and it might not be proper steak. So I don't tend to get a lot of meat from here. Um, but what but are the, we talking? Uh, oh, the mince. Yeah, I've had the mince a lot. So for a packet of mints, it's four ninety five. Well, the same as you know where we went earlier. Yeah. This is the same. Oh. And it's six seventy. Oh, that's a bigger packet of mints. Yeah, six seventy. Big pack of chicken fillets here. You've got one kg. 
and it's 9.99. When we first came to France, I was a little bit obsessed with these biscuits and I couldn't believe it because here they are. This is what they're called, Palettes Breton. Uh, probably not pronounced anything like that, but basically they're super cheap. They sell them at lots of different supermarkets and they are 2 19 2 euros 19 you get two packs there and honestly they are the most buttery delicious biscuits they taste like a luxury biscuit out of a biscuit selection box they're very shortbread like and buttery and gorgeous and super cheap so we used to stock up on those a lot when we first moved to france not so much anymore one thing about Aldi in France, you can't get your fresh milk out of the fridge here. They only do the UHT options. Can't really get baked beans in France. You can only get cassoulet, which has got like sausages and meat in there. Well, this is cassoulet. So as you can see, there is baked beans in there, but you just struggle to get a tin of the beans on their own so that's got duck in there and all sorts it's quite nice actually to be honest this is a cheaper version of cassoulet there you go pork sausages in there and bits of all sorts what are we talking for a can of cassoulet 139 i mean they've got different brands this one's bigger and this is quite a good brand this and it's $4.99 for that um, and then they also do a similar thing but with lentils in there so they'll do the meat like mixed with the lentils quite a nice quick easy meal to be honest and not too bad for you 36 toilet rolls 36 plus 12 no <laughs> $12.99 for all those. What a bog. Good cheese selection in Aldi. I always pick up quite a lot of cheeses from here. I like this one. It's already sliced. It's raclette. Raclette melts beautiful. It's like the best for melting. And this one's sand croute, which means it's not got the, the crusty edge on there. So it's great. It's already pre-sliced. Really nice raclette. Nice bit of Parmigiano there, $4.99, really well priced and it's the proper Italian 24 month aged Parmigiano. Next featured supermarket on the Riviera is Super U. Now this is a goodie, it's a popular one with the expats, we always bump into somebody we know in here and it's great, it's huge, they've got everything, they've got a nice butcher section, sushi, fresh section, all the fruit and veg is lovely, it's got a lot of recognisable brands in here as well I find. Let's go in and have a look. So like I said they've got a lot of recognisable brands in here and one thing they have got is a huge selection of hair dyes all the different brands, all the different colours that's not available everywhere you go in France and it took me a little while to work out and find so if you're looking for your beauty favourites they're probably going to have it in here they've also got a little international section in here as well you've got Italy Angleterre, USA, there's your brands. Have we got Heinz beans? That is the question. For a tin of Heinz beans, rich in tomato sauce, it's $1.95. Oh, they've even got Branston beans in here as well, $1.60. They've got some other recognisable UK brands. Heinz Mushroom Soup, bits and bobs like that. Iron Brew, Hellman's Real Mayonnaise. What's that then? I remember reggae reggae sauce. Reggae reggae sauce now. Oh, they've got Devon Custard, Rice Pudding. Yeah, a little international section. Oh, they've got Yorkshire Tea. Right about there. Eight euros for a box of Yorkshire tea. Kellogg's Pop Tarts, seven euros, seven twenty for a box of pure rubbish. Last but not least today, guys, I am featuring 
Netto. Now, who remembers Netto? We used to have them in the UK and I remember them growing up in the 90s as a kid being super embarrassed about the Netto carrier bags. Nobody wanted their parents to be seen shopping at Netto or have the Netto carrier bags. They were super alarming, black and yellow, really in your face. And I remember them being like jumble sales, bargain huts to get bulk items. I don't remember them having any quality fresh food in there. But Netto's today in France, they've come a long way. I would say they're almost on par with Aldi. In fact, the fruit and veg in Netto was much better, I thought. But there is one special item that I found in Netto, which I've not seen anywhere else. They had tins of baked beans, baked beans on their own, not in the castle, eh? but on their own. Now I'm speaking about this item because it's something that a lot of Brits miss. That's why they stock them on the international section. They always have the baked beans and they're really high priced. Now I'm not saying the Netto beans will taste exactly the same as a tin of Heinz beans, but come on, great move for Netto. And you can get a 250 gram tin of baked beans for just 61p. Come on, that's amazing. So well done Netto. Okay, what's the verdict? Is it possible to eat well on a budget living on the French Riviera? Absolutely. There's ways to shop for every lifestyle, a range of supermarkets to fit every budget. It's about knowing what to look for and shopping smart. Now, I will leave all the locations and supermarkets featured in today's video listed down below in the description box. I really hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments where you would shop and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.